Hello everyone. I'm crocheting again. I'm working on the uh, afghan. I thought I'd, you know, anybody want to follow along. This was a free crochet pattern I got years ago from uh, Walmart, I believe. If you didn't know you could get free crochet patterns, you, I think you still can, but there's not as many as there used to be out there. It would be by the yarn or the fabric in uh, your, you know, stores, Joann's, Michael's, uh, Walmart, A.C. Moore, whatever fabric yarn store you have in your area. Check and see if they've got any free patterns. And uh, there's lots of free ones online. So, but this is my pastime. I love doing it. This time I made sure there was no copyright music on or any music. Only thing you might hear is a dog. Right now I think she's sound asleep or trying to sleep. She thinks sitting with uh, mommy is the best thing in the world. So, I just let her. My husband did the same thing, and I wondered how in the world do those two sit in this little chair? Well, they did, and I do, so. When you love your animals. Kenny, Kenny, look! Get on the quick. Right, let me sleep. Hi, everybody. I'm going back to sleep. So. <sighs> but this is my fun time. If y'all like it, subscribe to my channel. I do other things, too. I put up shorts about, about my little candy. Put up uh, shorts about me. I have done a couple of cooking videos, and I've also uh, did some Minecraft, but uh, I love crocheting. I hadn't, I hadn't crocheted a lot in the last couple, three years, because my grandson lives in Florida, and they don't need any of this uh winter stuff. I made him a blanket when he was born and a hat or two, but he's getting older. I may make him another blanket that's bigger for his bed, but in Florida, do they really need as much as we do in Georgia? They don't. Uh, I know it's been cold this year all over the world, all over the United States. You know, Christmas is in the teens, and got down into um, thir got down to thirty in Florida. Uh, and I know it got down in the teens here in Georgia, but I was in Florida, so and it snowed. <coughs> Excuse me. It snowed one day while I was in Florida. My neighbor said. It didn't last long, but. Hey, maybe there's a yarn company that would like to sponsor me. I take some free yarn. <laughs> you know, I'll promote your yarn and make a hat with it or a scarf or a blanket. I can even crochet your sweater if I wanted to. But the hats go to make, the hats are the fastest and easiest to make. And uh, the pattern I'm using now is not too bad. And I'm just using a uh, cardan one pound yarn left over what was on a one pound, you know, yarn thing. So sometimes I make a boo boo, a stitch boo boo, and I just take it out and do it again. No big deal. 
if it gets to be a big deal, then I meant the pattern probably wasn't for me. I wasn't paying attention to the instructions. This one's pretty easy once you get past the second row. Just kind of a repeat pattern. Um, but, you know, like I've told others, I've been crocheting since I was in the eighth grade. I was back in the 70s. 1974. So I'm telling my age. <laughs> oh, man, oh, my. Yeah. Been a little rough this week with James Gone. Went to my first grief share program, and I really enjoyed it, so I'm going back. And, um... I think it's going to help a lot. Friday, I get started on repairing my bathroom or finishing what a guy started that wasn't that great, what he was doing. But I've got someone now that I think, I know they know what they're doing. So, that will get finished. Still looking for a car. I don't have a car yet. I pray God finds me one as soon as possible because I got things I want to do on my own. My neighbor this morning took me to my doctor's appointment, but she kind of hinted she didn't want to do it anymore, so I got to have a car. Now, she's going to take me when I have the surgery for my hernia. She's already said that, but all these just appointments and extra things I want to do, she doesn't want to really do it, so... That's all right. If uh, she's going to the store or grocery store, she will call and say, hey, I'm going to Walmart or I'm going to Ollie's or Aldi's. You want to go? Of course I'll go. So I make sure that if I need something, I will buy it. Not just I'm not going to get out of the house. So, like right now, I do want to go out, but I don't have a car. So I'm just going to wait until one of them asks me. Because what I want is nothing important, you know. So, yeah, when she has to go get something, I'll go and get what I need. Because I've got, I've got enough to, you know, get by with for a week or more. So, I just wanted to go check out a sale at our Ollie's. They had a good deal on uh, blankets and quilts starting today. And I can't get there because I don't have a car. And someone probably telling me, oh, call an Uber. I'm not calling an Uber to pay $25 to go spend $25. I'm just joking. But no, I wouldn't. I just wait. And yes, I could have rented a car from uh, my insurance company. But I was hoping to find a car by now. So, I'm just waiting. Playing the waiting game. I just pray that my friend that's helping me find a car, my mechanic, that he's able to do that today. Uh, we saw one we wanted, but uh, I didn't like the color of the car. I don't want a black car. I'm leaning towards a blue tone, white, gray, silver, gold tone, but not black. Saw a yellow car I like, but it was already sold. But yellow is the kind of car that, and like the bright colors draw too much attention on the road and I don't want to have another wreck so I'm not really going to get that kind of that color of the car um, I'm sorry I keep going out of frame with my yarn but if I lean back 
I look kind of funny, but I'll do it anyway. And y'all can see what I'm doing. Yeah. This is a small lamp blanket. When I started it, and I got on about the fifth row, I started to take it out and start over. Because it really is small. More like a baby size. But I'm going to keep going with it anyway. <coughs> a homeless person that's cold, they'll make do with a small blanket. Or they'll have a child that could use this blanket, maybe. Well, yeah, and the lights are bright. I probably need to cut the one over here. Over here. Oh, let me do that. And maybe. Maybe I'll do that. I think that's better. Oh, yeah, that's lots better. I have a ring light I bought. <laughs> and I'm working with it. And it does pretty good. Show me. I don't, yeah, I like it. The reason I have the other light on is a uh, little dark in the house feeling to me. And I don't like darkness. I've lived in, in this house for a long time with the lights the way they were. But I guess when you have someone else in the house, you don't uh, realize or see or notice things like you do to you by yourself. So, that's why I like to have the lamp on behind me. It's it just brighter. And sometimes you get used to the light you have. And I guess that's what I did. And then it, it hit me one day um, thinking that I wish this room was a lot brighter than it was. So, I brought in my tall lamp and uh, put it behind me and it, I love it. Now the ring light is in front of me and it's not throwing off. Maybe if I put the light in front of me, but it wouldn't look right be in the way of my walking and everything. So. And the colors I'm using is an off-white. This is an off-white color. And this is a, a, a gold tone. A yellow gold tone. It says it has a name on the thing. What color it might be. The yarn's right here. Here's my yarn. Let's see what color is it. Sunflower. 549. And I probably bought this 15 years ago or more. Yep. <coughs> <coughs> I don't know if any of y'all oh, have hobbies and you see a cell in whatever you like. So you do beadwork or crocheting or uh, stamp collecting kind of thing. So on sale, you run and go get it. And before you know it, you've got way too much. And that's the beauty. I have, I've had to throw away some yarn where, uh, Bugs have gotten into it. Moth balls. Moth. Moth balls. Moth. Got into it and ate the yarn. And then I had one. We had, last year, we had rats in the house. And when my husband told me he wasn't uh, that great of remembering how to get rid of rats. So... And they got into one of my yarn totes and I had to throw it all away. It was awful. So I told myself, even though this is not the best yarn, it's not the softest is what I mean to say. It still will work. 
Because that's what we used to make them out of. Now you go into the stores and you feel the yarn. They're a little more softer. And so, you know, I'm not, I said, but I'm not buying anymore. The price has more than doubled. Since I bought my last skein of yarn, I want to say triple. That, that pound of yarn that I bought, we used to get them for around $3. I saw a pound of yarn in the store the other day. And it was like nine ninety nine, And I said, that is way too much money. But you should see good sales on it. They would be like, uh, we'd get them on sale two, uh, two for five dollars sometimes, or or three dollars a piece. And we thought, yeah, that's a bargain for a pound of yarn. But now I've got some yarns that are uh, I bought at yarn shows. I used to go to uh. The crocheted knitting show, and uh, I bought some good yarns there, and I had to throw some of that away because the bugs got into it. What I mean by good yarn, this is acrylic. Nothing wrong with acrylic, but if you're more into uh, wools, cottons, uh, bison, buffalo, yak kind of fibers they even got some called milk fiber out there and they even at one time had some called kudzu made out of the kudzu plant that grows wild all over the south so it's just uh, better quality yarn and some people say I can't use wool I can't use uh, mohair or sheep or any of that because I'm allergic to it okay that's fine you just go out to the stores and find what you're not allergic to and uh, me I, I like the soft yarns so this has been fun I'm almost back to the end Yeah, but I'll be crocheting some more and showing my work off. I'm gonna go to the end and then I'm gonna quit. I went out and uh, pulled up some uh, old wheat. Well, pulled some uh, tomato plants that had died. I left the cages up. So I can replant. And I got a lot of tomatoes that uh, I didn't eat this summer. Uh, towards the end of September, August. Because my husband got sick. And I had to be at the hospital. So I had lots to go rotten on me. And hopefully I'll get some to come up from those seeds that you put out, that were left out there. So. That would be a good thing for this summer. And I want to find me a yellow tomato plant this summer. Low acid. I love a low acid tomato. Because it doesn't hurt my stomach as bad as the regular tomato. But. Anyway. I'll get to the end. And uh, we'll cross the end of the day. I may be further along the line with this when you see me again, because while I'm watching TV, I sit in crochet lately. I just can't watch TV and crochet because of all the music and things that are that are in the background, or I would be crocheting and uh, recording or crocheting and doing it live while I'm watching something in the background on my TV or the computer. But 
I'm not getting paid yet on YouTube. So, it won't really matter. But when I do start getting paid, and I'm not, I know I'm not going to make that much money. I'm just doing it for the fun of it. And the money I do make, I'll uh, probably put it in my fun for my grandson to have a fun started for college. Or a toy fund if he needs, you know, birthdays coming up in May. So. But I'm back to the end. Yep. And I'm just going to keep going. So if anybody wants the pattern, just uh, shoot me an email. Or check, you know, reply to this video and I'll uh, tell you the name of the pattern. So. I don't remember it off and it was something stadium. It had a hat, a scarf, uh, leg warmers, and a blanket. Or a napkin. So, thanks for listening and watching me rant and talk, which I love it. Y'all have a blessed day and we'll, uh, See y'all on the next one. God bless y'all.